Island Dancer, one Hawaiian Dixie, owned by Sug Ross, Yost, and the H&K Partnership, behind John Duke Sug. Two, Nike's Magic, owned by Bruce Kearns with Bryce Truitt. Three is A Trace of Magic, owned by Sherman Grossman and Horowitz, in behind Stefan Bouchard. Four, BJ Squall, Ross Wolfenden, in charge for Brian Nixon. Five, Ain't No Fooling Around, owned by the Roll the Dice Table with Ron Pierce. Six, I'm For Real, owned by the Daly and Daly Jr. Stable with Luke Willett. Seven, Clock Watcher, owned by Arlene and Jules Siegel, working with Danielle Dubé. Eight, Electrical Art, owned by Grundy, the McIntosh Stable, and Ice Bart, with John Campbell. And nine, Cathedra.com in the second row, owned by Newman Racing, the Elegance, Silva, Samson Street Stables. And the line's held by Dave Miller. Exacta, try, pick three, seven minutes, till post. Here they come. Second division in the Helen Dancer. Off stride went the two. Nike's Magic. Two Nike's Magic made a break. A trace of magic is aimed right for the front. Hawaiian Dixie on the inside. Here comes I'm For Real making a presence felt immediately. First turn leader, a trace of magic confronted outside by Am Furiel and then comes Hawaiian Dixie watching these two go out in a mild skirmish. Cathedra.com is in fourth. It's another five back to BJ Squall. Then comes Ain't No Fooling Around. Three back to Clock Watcher. Then comes Electrical Art and after the miscue Nike's Magic is way out of it. First panel in 28 seconds flat. And the leader of the pack is I Am For Real. On the outside, Cathedra.com is making an impassioned plea for the lead. But Luke wants no part of it. He lets out I Am For Real and pulls away again. On the inside, a trace of magic. An ill-fated move with the Cathedra.com. Didn't come close to clearing. On the inside, Hawaiian Dixie. Five back to BJ Squall. Then it's a pair back to Ain't No Fooling Around. Got a big task ahead of her as Electrical Art. But now she's showing spark through a half. 56 and one-fifth. They take the bend and up the back stretch they go in the second division of the Helen Dancer. It is I Am For Real. She's going to have to be at her best. Here they come from the back. Ain't no fooling around. Going by the staggering cathedra.com into the flow electrical art following the hoof prints of Ain't No Fooling Around. On the inside, a trace of magic. Three quarters in one, 26 and one. I'm for real, still strong out on the lead. On the outside, ain't no fooling around. On the inside, a trace of magic. Electrical art had a check there because going off stride, ain't no fooling around. Electrical art chances have just gone out the window. And I am for real is holding very strong in this one and now is pulling away. It looks like the first division of the Helen Dancer with Luke and Gelrod teaming up for the sweep and they got it. It's I am for real all the way, strong all the way around, very close for second, either going a trace of magic or Hawaiian Dixie in one fifty-four and three. Back to the winner, a circle. We're going to top race in from Canada. Six, I'm for real. A three-year-old daughter of Arts Place at a cinnamon reel. By the legendary Cam Fella. We just lost this week. Owned by Matthew J. Dan J. Daly and Patrick Daly Jr. Hamilton, Ontario. And congratulations to the team of Monty Gelrod and Luke Willette as they have swept both divisions of the Helen Dancer. I'd like to welcome today grandson of Helen Dancer, son of Stanley, welcoming Mr. Ronnie Dancer is presenting the valued hardware to the connections of I Am For Real, also in the winner's circle, the director of racing, race secretary here at the track, Mr. Peter Koch. Congratulations once again to Luke Willett and Monty Gelrod sweeping both halves of the Helen Dancer.